Hello and thanks for joining me. I'm Matthew Rondina with Best Buy Canada's Best Buy blog. Today I am unboxing, testing out and reviewing the Logitech G Pro X2 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Headset. The evolution of Logitech's gaming headset line offers fantastic audio and plenty of new features with the Logitech G Pro X2 Lightspeed. The hardware sports new 50mm graphene drivers that offer excellent sound quality. In fact, the first time I put the headset on, I was shocked at the deep, rich audio I was hearing. Its detachable 6mm cardioid mic with blue voice technology outputs clear voice communication. The Pro X2 Lightspeed is also very lightweight and feels great to wear for extended gaming sessions. In this review, I put the headset through its paces, testing sound quality, comfort, battery life, and more. Let's dive in and discover all the newest additions the Logitech Pro X line has to offer. From opening the box to all the included components in the package, everything about the Logitech G Pro X2 Lightspeed feels premium. In the box, everything was organized in a very clean, minimalist fashion, making it easy to access and get right down to gaming. Here you can see all the components included with the Logitech G Pro X2 headset. As you can see, you get an extra set of ear cups and quite a few different uh, other accessories and components that I'm going to cover right now. So the first is the soft uh, travel case, which is really cool for uh, Logitech to include with the packaging. So if you're on the go, it is an option, uh, as well as a USB A to C uh, for charging. And next up, of course, we have the 3.5 millimeter jack. So just in case your wireless headset runs out of battery, there's that option to connect. This is the USB dongle for connecting to compatible devices. Uh, so again, it's pretty plug and play, especially with my PS5 and my experience with that. Plugged it in and pretty much was off to the races. And here's the right uh, fabric version of the ear cup. And of course the left, it's great to have that extra option in the box. The headset itself, which currently has the leatherette version of the ear cups on. It's a really nice light headset, but I'll get more into that later in terms of the overall feel. But it's very sharp looking, really like the metallic detailing on the outside of it, uh, as well as the actual uh, detachable microphone. I love the fact that it's so detachable, nice and clean, that it's easy to, uh, to pop off just in case you want to listen to some music on the go and not bring the mic uh, boom arm with you. And those are all the components together. Of course, paperwork is included as well too. Overall, everything you'll need to get up and running in no time. I alluded to this before, but overall, I really love the Logitech G Pro X2's lightweight design. It incorporates durable aluminum materials along with the steel frame, but at the same time, the combination not only ensures sturdiness, but also a touch of elegance to the headset. So it's durable and sturdy, but also lightweight. It's often a very difficult uh, balance to always strike, but Logitech's done a wonderful job with this headset. The use of high quality materials in its construction means that the headset will be able to withstand the rigors of daily use without compromising its look or performance. Again, I've only had a few weeks with the headset. I think it's enough to uh, understand its audio-based performance and how it works, uh, especially in the gaming department, in terms of long, long-term uh, usage. Everything here says to me that it's going to be able to stand up to the daily sort of uh, use and abuse, uh, but at the same time, uh, it's a really solid, it's a really lightweight and solid feeling headset. It only weighs in at a mere 35 grams, and it must have taken quite a bit of careful engineering to pack in such a strong steel frame and keep everything so light and airy. What this all adds up to is one of the most comfortable headsets I've quite frankly ever tested out. The lightweight design does a good job of distributing weight across your head, and it ensures that there's minimal pressure on your head and ears, which means you can enjoy your games for hours on end without feeling fatigued or having your head feel too hot. Another component of the headset I really appreciate is the range of compatibility. And I really like the fact that Logitech put quite a bit of thought into this and included uh, components to really stand by all these different compatibility options. The Pro X2 comes with the Lightspeed plus Bluetooth wireless and 3.5 millimeter inputs. Uh, the Logitech Lightspeed Technologies offers a strong 2.4 gigahertz signal at up to a whopping 30 meters. So you get a really great strong range. Never really had any drops in terms of signal ever using this headset wirelessly. Uh, but at the same time too, if you have uh, Bluetooth enabled devices, it's also compatible. And finally, you can hardwire this headset with a 3.5 millimeter input. 
it's great to have all these options because if the battery dies while you're gaming wirelessly, you can just plug in with the 3.5 millimeter port. Uh, one thing that is uh, of note with the 3.5 millimeter feature is that it disables a lot of other features. Uh, the one caveat to the multitude, I guess you could say, of compatibility, especially with the 3.5 millimeter output, is the fact that it disables all the onboard controls on the headset. So that means that the volume scroll wheel that is on the actual headset itself is completely disabled, which is a drawback. But I do find that is a minor trade-off worth having for the sheer range of compatibility. All the different options made it easy to move between uh, my PS5, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch as well as PC. Uh, in terms of the included dongle and all the extra uh, surround sound features, I did find though that the performance was best with the PlayStation 5 as it did offer a uh, higher compatibility. Now we're on to the most important part of the review when it comes to a headset, of course, with the audio performance. In terms of the sound performance, the headset is equipped with cutting edge 50 millimeter graphene drivers. And this was my very first time going ears on with this technology, but it left me extremely impressed. Whether gaming, listening to music, watching a movie, uh, through a plethora of different audio sources, it was extremely rich. Like the audio always left me impressed, no matter what I was watching, uh, whatever was being outputted, it just sounded fantastic and it did a wonderful job of giving uh, more of that spatial audio, especially when playing action games like Fortnite. Um, these powerful drivers really ensured that every audio detail from subtle footsteps to explosions, uh, even in Street Fighter VI, every punch landed was really bassy. Uh, or had a really rich bass or thump to it. Um, everything was very accurately reproduced. So for my final thoughts on the headset, um, in terms of performance, gaming focus features and comfort, it stands out in all of these different categories. With excellent sound quality, lightweight design and impressive durability, it exceeded many of my expectations. And I've tested a lot of headsets. The 50 millimeter graphene drivers ensure an immersive audio experience across various platforms, while the detachable cardioid mic offered some really great sounding voice communication. The headset's comfort factor is excellent thanks to the memory foam ear pads and the swiveling hinge system, allowing for extended gaming sessions without fatigue. Although there is a minor trade-off when it comes to using uh, devices that would require the 3.5 millimeter input, the overall performance and features of the Logitech G Pro X2 Lightspeed make it a worthy investment. Here's the bottom line. If you're a serious gamer seeking a top quality gaming headset, the Logitech G Pro X2 Lightspeed should be at the top of your list. I'm Matthew Rondina with Best Buy Canada's Best Buy blog. Thank you so much for watching. Game on. Thank you.